Hello, Potato, and welcome to another video of Blind Box Bag Sphere Goodness with Zuru Mini Brands. Now, if to this point you still think these are for children, if you still think even after KFC, even after cocktails, which I'm still looking for, and books and retro that I feel are all clearly geared towards millennials and Xers more than they are Zeds and Alphas, if you still thought these things are for kids, today should hopefully finally disabuse you of that notion. Although, frankly, cocktails probably should have disabused you of that notion. Because today we're looking at Netflix mini brands. Netflix, with such fabulous children's programming as Stranger Things, Rebel Moon, Squid Game, Emily in Paris, Cobra Kai, Bridgerton, and The Witcher. Now, the only thing that I might let a child watch would be like maybe Stranger Things. I don't know, maybe I've never watched Cobra Kai. I was never a big fan of Karate Kid, so I haven't watched Cobra Kai. That might be totally like PG-13, I don't know. And honestly, I don't actually don't even know what Emily in Paris is, but I've seen Squid Game, I've seen The Witcher, and I haven't seen it, but I'm familiar with Bridgerton enough to know that these are not children's programs. Although, you know, you, you parent the way you want to parent. Uh, I, you know, I watched Aliens as a kid, so whatever. I saw Poltergeist in theater Playing with a double feature with Annie, so, you know, parent the way you want to parent. But yeah, today we're going to open up a pair of these Netflix mini brands spheres. So the, the, we recently did the retro ones, and those did not, like, grab me the way that the KFC one did. The KFC one was really just, there was that double down, and I, I simply had to have it. There's nothing really like that in retro, although I got a couple of nice things in the two that I did. I might do more of those. And I don't expect there'll be anything particularly in Netflix. I think we're kind of back on the, this is dumb, why does this exist here? Let me encourage it to continue existing by buying some of them. So let's open up a pair of our Zuru Netflix mini brands today. And hopefully, maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get, we'll get Geralt's golden necklace. You can get gold things, that's always nice. Go with my gold peanut butter and my gold french fries. Crack open our first sphere and see what there is. I'm guessing little paper bags. Ooh, we must have something nice. So we learned, we learned with the uh, KFC that the foil bags are nice things because that's what the double down came in. There's something inside of a box. Maybe it's Geralt's necklace. We're gonna put that to the side and save the shiny thing for the last because I want to keep you. Know, well, well, that's the best thing. And we open it first, and then. It's like no point in watching the next 10 minutes of this video. We will, however, take a quick look at what the options of what we can get are. We have, so yeah, the, the only legendary thing is Geralt's necklace. Then iconic, we have a like weird gold plated version of the, uh, the doll statue from Squid Game. And then a lead, what, what's it, lead man, head man, the main, the main like bad guy's mask. We have a pistol from Rebel Moon, a camera from Emily in Paris, the normal Witcher necklace are all luxury. Ultra rare, which is somehow less than iconic or luxury, appears to be Geralt's sword. Then moving down to, that one's not marked. What is the red? Red doesn't have a title, but we have uh, the piggy bank from Squid Game, Stranger Things Pizza, and a Bridgerton dessert of some sort. Then down at Rare, we have the Demogorgon. We have that robot from Rebel Moon, a teapot from Bridgerton, some Stranger Things and Cobra Kai action figures, Rebel Moon ship, Emily in Paris chocolate croissants. I feel like those are probably reused from one of the food mini brands. A cool kind of cool looking skeleton creature from The Witcher. Anything on the back here? Here's our common stuff. The normal Squid Game Girl, guitar and action figure from Stranger Things, Geralt's sword, I guess non-shiny versions, an X from Rebel Moon. I watched those two movies, I don't remember that. They weren't, they weren't great. They weren't bad, they weren't great. Stranger Things, Cobra Kai, a dog from Bridgerton, the like bone walking stick from Rebel Moon. It's like a menu from Bridgerton. Squid Game Mask, Emily in Paris Beret, and the, like the uh, 
computer camp hat from Stranger Things. So maybe, maybe first off we'll have Geralt's neck. That would be cool. But also probably negate. Ah, Geralt's shiny sword is pretty cool. But I don't know if it's enough on its own to keep me coming back to this. But let's uh, let's save the foil shiny one. We'll just put it back there to taunt us for the next few minutes while we open the normal stuff. So starting off, we have that robot from Rebel Moon. Okay. Looks like his little feet just, a little some assembly required on these, looks like. I guess his feet just kind of slide in there. I'm guessing they do, but they don't. You would expect them to just, is it supposed to go on his ankles? That doesn't look right. Yeah, it looks like it's supposed to go, it's supposed to like make him stand up. So his feet should just snug right in there. But, oh, maybe the ankles are supposed to go in. Maybe I have it backwards. There we go. It's his ankles that go in. I'm, I'm sorry, in this, this, uh, this scale, the small, he looks like a Cyberman. Although I'm sure we won't be too much longer before we get Doctor Who mini brands. And yes, I will definitely do some of those. Next up, something round and flat. It's Geralt's necklace. It's actually metal. It's actually metal, the chain's metal. That's kind of cool. That you could put that like on a 12 inch jacket. If I had like a Geralt 12 inch figure, that would look cool on it, but I'm sure if I had a 12, Geralt 12 inch figure, it would have come with one. That's neat. This one feels like it could be the same thing. What do we have here? Oh, it is, okay. Well, it is the same thing, but it is the legendary. So what the heck is that? If this is the best item in the collection, or I guess one of them, I guess it could be, maybe it's one of these two. But we do have, yeah, we do have like the legendary version of Geralt's necklace. So we can side by side them right now. And of course, as we know, in a few years time, this gold version of Geralt's necklace will be worth absolutely nothing and I won't be able to retire on it. Okay, that was weird though to get the normal version and the like variant version in the same package. That's not a, I've never had that happen with a mini brand before. Not that I've done that many mini brands, I've done like some Disney ones and stuff. And okay, this is, this is all very weird. We've got another one of the iconic things. I've got two of the three iconic things in the first box or the first sphere and I've got something in foil which I would have thought would have been an iconic thing or sorry yeah legendary thing but it's no these are the this is iconic that is the only legendary that is the only legendary in the set these are iconic oh this is iconic so we have like two of the top three items straight out of the first package uh, I'm not that lucky, so I don't know what's going on here. So what could be in the f in the foil pack then? Because I know, I think that was in the, the foil pack was for the KFC thing because it was scented. But nothing here that I can see says it's meant to be scented. Red is also iconic. So, what? So these are iconic. So these are, I, I am very, I'm like far too confused by these. Are those meant to be? I don't know what these are even supposed, what category are these are even supposed to be? Oh, but you know what that is probably what is, these two are scented. That is gonna be the scented pizza, I betcha. I wanted to save the cool thing for the last. Little did I know the cool thing would be the second thing I'd open. All right, well, we'll still save it for the last because yeah, I think I think that's gonna be the scented pizza. It feels like there's a box in there. So I think that's what we have, is the scented pizza from Stranger Things, which was, I don't know what category that is though. I guess it's a scented category. Honestly, out of that pack, that section, I would have rather gotten the piggy bank than the pizza, but 
Vegas can't be choosers, and hey, I got Geralt's necklace. So I got both versions of Geralt's necklace. I would actually like the normal version of the Squid Game Girl, though. That was, I think, that and the masks from Squid Game were the kind of things that really, I think, tipped the scale for me. This does not. These don't open well at all. I, that's great for preventing people stealing stuff from the store. Not so great when you get it home and are trying to do it in front of a camera and not look like a complete boob. All right, let's see what's in our other one. We've got another foil thing. Uh, I think it's the same foil thing. Put them over there. Got something, this is something big. Um, probably the ship, maybe. We got that Bridgerton Lady Whistledown's Society Papers. I'm not 100% sure who this is for, but it's not me. I, can tell you, I do think it's a very good idea to have not put it in a paper wrapper and just put it in plastic because this feels like it is just a piece of paper and you would absolutely tear it in half opening it also, or you just would think you've got an empty uh, empty sleeve. So we got Lady Whistledown's Society Papers. That's, is that like a, so for those of you who watch uh, Bridgerton, because I don't. Got another big thing, two, oh, maybe it's a piggy bank. That'd be cool. For those of you, and I think maybe one of the masks, I think we may have done, maybe a baseball hat. That could be the baseball hat. Let's look at the brim on it. For those of you who watch Bridgerton, is, I'm not gonna get a magnifying glass and read this. It probably is printed, because like the, uh, the mini books are. Is Lady Whistledown Society Papers, like her papers showing that she belongs in high society? Or is this actually like, some sort of a like newspaper or newsletter in the universe of Bridgerton. Let me know in the comments because I'm not going to watch Bridgerton and I'm not going to whip out a magnifying glass try to read this to get any sense of it. But I'm interested enough to know. So if you would like to tell me what Lady Whistledown's society papers actually is in the in the the lore of that show, I would be happy to find out. All right, let's open this one up. I think this is going to be the hat from Stranger Things, and yeah, it is. I wonder if that would fit on an action figure. It would definitely, it's definitely too big for uh, Deadpool back there. Let's, let me, give me a second. All right, I was gonna put it on Deadpool's head here, but uh, no. His head's too big, that head's definitely too small. That would look cool on an action figure though. Oh well, that's just not what we're gonna do with this, but it is a nifty little Thing else. So it's not the computer lab, it's just the thinking cap. Okay. I thought it would be like the computer camp hat, but it's not. It's his thinking cap. Yeah, it's just like the wrong size to fit on, I think, anything I have. Maybe a toy box figure, I don't know. If you see an invention in the background on something's head, you'll know I figured it out. Nicely printed though. Good texture, good printing. Not metal. I don't hate it. At least it's not another Bridgerton thing, because again, that's one of the couple things I have not ever watched. Next is, yeah, so I thought it was, that is the ship from Rebel Moon. I don't remember the name of it. Uh, those movies didn't make a huge impact on me. I feel like having to put these together, though, it makes me feel a little bit like we're doing, like, Kinder Toys here. Like, proper Kinder Surprise, not Kinder Joy. Uh, not a bad paint job. Well sculpted. Got its little base, so you can stand it up. You can start your own, you know, if you have your Commander Shepard action figure, you can like add this to his little collection of ships. Okay, I'm really hoping this is the piggy bank though. That's, that is probably, aside from the golden necklace and the normal version of the uh, Squid Game Girl, probably the thing I would want the most. And it, yes, it is, it is, aha. That's cool. It's got the money in it. It is like glued down in there because it's open at the top, so you can drop more money in. But that's cute. That's a cool looking. That probably will get a shelf space. That that's pretty neat. All right, so let's open what are almost certainly our two scented items, and I think are very probably the same scented item. But I think it's pretty cool that we got two of like the top three things in one capsule, but then like nothing of that caliber in the second capsule. Well, I guess that is, that's in the same category as the pizza. So that is like a higher category. So that's not scented though, is it? I mean, it smells of plastic, but yeah, this is the Stranger Things P 
pizza, the Supreme Surfer Boy pizza. Presumably not the same one you could just buy at Walmart and make. It's got Demogorgon on it. So, I mean, so this is, I guess actually it is. I think that this is actually, instead of the thing from the show, this is a mini brands version of the frozen pizza you can buy at Walmart or could buy at Walmart, I don't know if you can anymore. It, I mean, it feels like we're supposed to be able to open it though. Oh, here we go. There's like a little, a little thing here at the bottom. There we go. Ow, I ripped it. I've ruined it. I've ruined the value of it. I'm sorry. And oh, there we go. It was upside down. Well, I wouldn't eat that. It's got like jalapenos on it. What does it smell like? It smells like plastic. I thought this was supposed to be scented. Scented, yes. Smells like pla it smells the same as the pig. Well, that's disappointing. I've ruined the ruined it. And it doesn't even actually smell of pizza. That is that is hugely fine. I'm I'm sorry I saved that to the end, because that is hugely disappointing, and this is the same thing as Nibias. At least I have one that I haven't ruined. Does it smell? Like plastic? Yes, it's, it smells awful. Well, we got duplicates in out of these, these first two things, but we also got two of the three, like, top items. So I guess I can't complain. I don't know that I'll do any more of these, just because, I mean, I got, I got Geralt's necklace. What else could you want? I need, I have his normal and his golden necklace. I mean, I wouldn't mind some of the Squid Game masks. I'm a little disappointed that there doesn't appear to be a black version of, what, I think it was Headman? Of Headman's mask, his mask. Because he had the normal, he had like, a, had like a black one on for most of it, right? Or is that somebody else from the show? Is that like one of the, the rich guys? I mean, the swords would be cool to get, but I mean, I'm good. I'm good with what I got. I just wanted that I got two pizzas and that neither of them smell of pizza. But otherwise, I'm, I'm definitely think this actually may actually be my favorite thing. I do like the little Squid Game piggy bank. I would actually, honestly, I know she's like the iconic version or whatever, but I would have preferred the normal version of her. And uh, we got both versions of Geralt's necklace, so that probably is like, I mean, legitimately the nicest thing in the set. Yeah, I know it says it's the, the legendary item, but it probably is the nicest thing in the set. And we did get another Stranger Things item, and we got two Rebel Moon items, and we got what may be the weirdest thing I've ever received out of a mini brands presented in a unique way. But that is it. That is our video on Netflix Zuru mini brands. What did you think of these? Should I do more? Should I should I go for anything else? Is is does the surfboard pizza just smell like plastic? So it is scented, and it's just that those pizzas smell repulsive. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But I do hope you found this at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.